In this video, we're going to do a deep dive into the myth of the famous Fifth Symphony of Ludwig van Beethoven. The soul-piercing orchestral composition has left all in awe of how epic of a masterpiece it was. And would you believe it? It was created by a man with hearing impairment. The ferocious eighth notes is the opening and most notable music piece ever composed. The Fifth Symphony of Ludwig van Beethoven had its debut back in 1808 on a swelteringly frigid Vienna night. This musical art was just a fraction of a lengthy program, and the orchestra which we now know as a band was hurriedly assembled and not properly rehearsed. Despite this relatively unceremonious premiere, it quickly won applause and laud. A critic pictured the piece as glowing beams of light piercing through gloom. This force continues throughout the piece, and its historic musicality continues to move listeners to this day. For the premiere of the symphony, Ludwig van Beethoven had already gained formidable fame and reputation. Beethoven was one of the first freelance composers amongst his peers, who rather made music, particularly for private events and religious functions alike, held by wealthy patrons. Beethoven made his living selling his music to publishers in many countries and having exhibitions of his music to the public. This choice of career gave him the flexibility to compose music of self-expression, and he was always descrying new ways to translate his strong emotion into music. The Fifth Symphony of Ludwig van Beethoven had a rather long duration of composition. He began the earliest sketch of the symphony in 1804, and it took four years to complete. But during those four years, he completed the Appassionata Piano Sonata, the Violin Concerto, the three Razumovsky String Quartets, the Fourth Symphony, the Sixth Symphony, and many more. Although Beethoven had a very difficult process of composing, other factors were possible causes of difficulty for him. For instance, he had his heart broken when his hero Napoleon turned into a nemesis. Napoleon defeated Austria and occupied Vienna. Beethoven was initially sympathetic to the ideals of Napoleon, and had planned to dedicate his third symphony to him, but he scraped out the name of Napoleon on the title page of his third symphony and redacted it to the memory of a great man. While Napoleon was bombing Vienna, Beethoven had to hide in his brother's basement where he stuffed pillows over his ears in fear that the explosions may cause further damage to his impaired sense of hearing. Beethoven's loss of hearing was dawdling and excruciating, as he started to notice it at the age of 26, and it got worse gradually. As a pianist, it would have been very difficult for him, particularly at the high notes, if silence fell on his ears and it got worse over time. Over time, it affected his ability to follow conversations, and on occasion, he thought of suicide, but ultimately decided to go on and not give up on writing. It was amidst these troubled times of war and revolution that Beethoven wrote his Fifth Symphony, a symphony that reshaped music forever from its opening four notes. Da -da -da -da. The Fifth Symphony experimented in the elements of Romanticism. It uses a classical sonata form in which an ideal of a musical form is placed in the center of the music and is then expanded on, developed, explored, and repeated. Within these parameters, he embedded simple ideas with great depth. A single simple rhythmic pattern serves as the platform for the movements of the three simple short notes followed by a prolonged fourth, which Beethoven's biographer later called the fate motif. This pattern has not been clear as to if Beethoven had fate in mind when composing the motif, but they definitely create a grasping hook. The rhythm creates an onward movement pattern while the lingering fourth note signals doom. Throughout the composition, this motif is passed softly around the orchestra, played in different variations, instruments, and pitches until it becomes a roar. This repetition of the motif is a huge part of what makes this masterpiece extraordinary, but it is not the only creation on display. It was also the first major orchestral composition to ever use trombones, a high-pitched piccolo, and a low-pitched contrabassoon, combined all together in one musical harmony. And speaking of harmony, harmonically, the piece has a clear emotional bend, starting in a gloomy C minor and conquering it in the end in C major. This progression takes you from this feeling of unease and uncertainty to a majestic resolution. There are many secrets still yet to be unraveled in this symphony, but Beethoven really was ahead of his time to write this symphony while battling with hearing loss. If you listen carefully, his pain could be heard in the composition's roaring 
and repeating musical phrases. Ludwig van Beethoven continued to compose even after he became completely deaf, producing new rhythmic patterns of music until his demise in 1827. And the fifth central motif has continued to resound throughout the ages.